Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to use scenes and tags to make a chasing light animation like the one happening right behind me. Happy holidays! So, we've said it before on here, uh, SketchUp is not by itself an animation tool. It's not the tool you would buy to, you know, rig characters and make them move or do much more than flying through a scene. SketchUp is primarily a 3D modeling tool. It does have some basic animation though. Like I said, using scenes or tags for visibility, you can move through a model or make a model, pieces of a model, you know, show up and disappear, that kind of thing. And we're gonna show how to use those things, those, those things I just mentioned to uh, do a quick animation of lights. So let's hop in and do it. Okay, so I have a pretty simple setup here. I have a little, little facade of a house right here. And then, uh, that's not like I insulted it. You're nothing but a facade of a house. Um, and then I have this string of lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three copies of this string of lights with different lights lit up on each copy. So I'm going to do a couple things here. First, we're going to create three tags. So I'm going to make lights A, we'll call them. Lights, I guess it really doesn't matter what I call them. I could call them just... A for that matter. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to spell lights correctly because because I can. Well, actually, sometimes I can't, but I'm going to do it. I did it. I forced myself to. All right, so I have three uh, different tags right here. And now I'm going to make three copies of this right here. So I'm going to use move um, and I'm just going to option copy one over here. I'm going to use this, this uh, overhang right here as my distance to copy. That way I can get it right back to where I need it here. And I'm gonna make one more copy. I don't have to actually copy these out separate to make this work, what I'm doing. Uh, it's just a little easier to visualize if I put them out here like this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this first one. This one is going to go to A. This second one is going to go to B. And this third one is going to go to C. All right, so now they're all on a different, so as I, as I turn these on and off, I'll be able to see that I can just see which one I want. All right, now what I can do is I can actually take these and we're gonna scoot them back to where they were. Like I said, I really, I really only did that to make it easier to visualize as I was making those three copies. But now you believe that there's three copies. They're all, they're exact same geometry in the exact same place. So I can't see them more than one at a time. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off B and C. So now I have just lights A. All right, so now I'm gonna double click and let me look at one of these light bulbs. So what this light bulb consists of is a simple, is just a single, single mesh inside this component. Uh, the outs or the tops of these are painted green, you can see, and the bulb itself is the default material. So what that means is if I come in here and I bring up my paint bucket and I grab like a gray color, a little bit darker, and I color this component, the green's going to stay green, but anything that's the default material will then turn that gray. So this makes it real quick and easy to color two, leave one. Color two, leave one, color two, leave one, color two, leave one, etc., etc., etc. So I work across this whole thing uh, doing it like this. And actually, it's occurring to me right now that I unintentionally, this was not, this was honestly not on purpose, but I made the perfect number of segments and the perfect number of bulbs that I could have made each of these loops a different component and it would work perfectly. I didn't think about that, but I did that. So way to go, subconscious, awesome modeling Aaron. All right, so there we go. So now I have gray, gray, white, gray, gray, white, gray, gray, white, all the way across there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn off lights A and I'm turn on lights B. I can go into that. In this case, I'm gonna go the same thing, grab my paint bucket, leave a white one, and then say gray, gray, white, gray, gray, white, gray, gray, white. So I'm gonna work my way across here same way just a couple of quick 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 clicks quick clicks 
Um, this idea, by the way, is something that came out of one of our live modeling sessions. We do live modeling every Friday, well, most Fridays, uh, on our YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn channels. So you should come check us out because we talk about cool stuff and come up with ideas like this that we end up making a reality later on. All right, so now I'm going to take that one, turn that off, turn on C, and then this one, I'm going to go put a gray here, leave that one white and gray, 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 and work my way across there. So what I should end up with in this case, if I've done everything correct, which I do believe I have, I should have three different versions of gray and light white bulbs. And if I flip them on and off quick enough, I should see it look like I'm moving through here. So let's check it out. So we start with A, my third bulb's lit. C, my first and fourth. I'm sorry, B, <laughs> C, my second and fifth. So yeah, that looks like it's gonna be correct. So here's what I gotta do now. Now what I need to do is I need a scene connected to each of these tags. So with lights A turned on, I'm gonna say make a new scene. That's it. Actually, that's not it. I lied. I totally lied. That's not it at all. What is it? I want to expand this down. I want to make sure with this scene, the only thing I keep is visible tags. So I'm going to turn off all these other attributes. I don't care about any of this stuff. I don't want the scene to remember any of this stuff or force any of it on me. All I want it to do is control visibility of tags. And then let's update that. Visible tags only. Now I'll go from A to B and make a new scene. B to C, make a new scene. And that's it. We've done all the work. Now we just have to play the animation. So I'm going to go over to view. I'm going to go to animation. I'm going to go to settings. Um, I want to turn off scene transitions. I usually have that turned off anyhow. And I want a fairly quick light chase here. So I'm going to do something like 0.5 seconds. All right. And I close that. And now I should be able to go to view animation and play. And what will happen here? Is it's just going to go through each scene and you see as each scene one two three one two three each one's just toggling each tag on and off and because we didn't connect this to anything other than tags we can actually move through the model and the animation keeps going it does pause for a second if i'm you know moving something you know moving the whole model so it has to redraw everything it does take a second to pause there but then as soon as i land again I can see that animation continue. So my point is I don't have to do this from one point of view. I come over here and get Teddy in the foreground, keep the animation going. I can come down here and look up at it like I'm a kid physically. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. I got it. It's, it's animating my lights. That's all there's to it. So again, not a true animation in the sense of I'm not setting values of each of these or moving things in 3D space, but an animation in that kind of like a cell animation, I'm flipping from one view to the next to the next and creating this illusion of chasing lights moving through my model. Pretty cool. So there you go. Like I said, that's it's not a complicated process. It's actually pretty easy once you know the steps. And if you set it all up right, there's really a lot of things you can do with simple animations uh, inside of SketchUp. This is kind of a fun one. This is, like I said, this came out of a live stream. Could we make them the lights on, on a sign we made blink? Uh, and this is how you'd go about that. I thought it'd be fun considering the time of year to do holiday lights as opposed to the Las Vegas sign, which is what we were working with originally, but process would be the same. So I hope you like that. And if you did like that, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here each and every week and to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, more than anything, they'll leave us a comment down below. Is this new to you? Did you just learn this? Do you have a different way you would have gone about this? Or do you have another idea that you think would make a good video? Leave it in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.